Hey guys, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about uh, how to uh, wrap text for a plasma-based application with your rotary. And really this is a four-axis wrapping group uh, setup, so let's get right into it, okay? So I'm going to go to my uh, side plane and then go to a right view. And then from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. Uh, this is a two inch radius, so a four inch diameter. You know, I'm going to offset um, this shape a little bit here to uh, give us some wall thickness. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm going to extrude this out. So I'm going to give it just some length here, and then we'll go back to our top view. So this is the, the pipe that we're working on. Now, um, from here, I'm going to go ahead and set up the job. Now, I don't have a four-axis plasma machine. I have a four-axis milling machine. Um, if you're running a four-axis plasma, what you should do is email support. Let them know that you would like a four-axis plasma. You could build your own, um, or you can email support and let them know what's going on. Now, uh, for my example, I'm just going to use a mill because the concept is the same. I'm going to run my uh, stock wizard here. I'll go ahead and pick up my stock, and then I'm going to leave my zero right where it is. So what we have at this point is some pipe. We got a zero, and what we need to do is we need to set up a wrapping group. Now, before we do that, um, let's move this over to here. Okay, so before we do that... Well, no, let's go ahead and do that. Real simple, right click on your machine setup, additional functions, add wrapping group, right click edit. We're going to use our stock diameter as our wrapping uh, diameter. Okay. So uh, what this means is whatever we have laid out flat, it's going to get wrapped to that four inch diameter. Real simple. We, you know, in 28, we can use wrap geometry. Uh, we're not going to do that in this example. And it's also with this checkbox, it's going to show it wrapped to the cylinder, which we are going to do. So we'll say, okay. Now from here, how do we find out the area of this circle? Well, we could do some math with a calculator or we can just uh, right click measure entity, click on this right here. And this will give us our area. Okay. So from here, we're going to go to a, a top view and we're going to draw a rectangle okay i'm going to change the origin so it's set to right and then my x value is going to be the 12.5664 that is the wrong spot sorry we're going to make that um like that six or seven inches that's fine the y value is going to be the 12.5664 okay so that is the circle laid out flat okay now from here what we want to do is we want to put some text in here so i'm going to do uh text uh i'm going to say uh uh text uh let's see text um and then we'll say a I don't know, whatever. I'll say uh, pipe cutting. Do that. We'll add a size to it. All right. Um, you know, that's okay. Let me see. There's some other fonts in here. You can, uh, you know, a real good thing you can do is you can go online and you can download stencil fonts and I recommend you do that they're pretty cool because they break up the letters for you automatically they're free you just go on and download them um, pipe cutting looks good let's make the letters a little bit bigger we're gonna make them uh, 750 let's add a little more spacing between each other and that looks better so we're gonna go with that uh, the other text I'm just going to select and get rid of, okay? So this is what I want to work with. Um, from here, I'm going to load a two-axis routine, select geometry. I'm going to select all my letters here. Next. Um, with the plasma application, we wouldn't put a depth here. Our THC would pick it up. Um, but to simulate it, I want to make sure that it shows that it cuts through. Um, we're going to do a profile finish. Uh, from here, I'm going to just set, you know, like a 60 thou tool. We'll do a right angle lead in. 
and uh, we'll do a circular lead out and let's compute that and here you can see that it's cutting all the letters and you can also see that it's wrapped to our cylinder okay if I blank this stock out you can see that it's wrapped to the cylinder what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the um, letters a little bit bigger here so I'm gonna select this let's make it two and a half uh, inches when I do that I'm probably gonna need two lines here so let's make it two lines and we'll say uh, that's probably too big so let's select it again entity modify let's make it two inches we'll click OK um, yeah that will probably fit let's see if we can get it in our stock it's a little outside of the stock so uh, let's just drop it down a little bit more. We'll make it inch and a half. That should be all right. Okay. All right, there we go. So that's a little bit better. It fits in there. Really, all I'm going to do from here is um, just reselect the geometry. So I reselect and then I recompute. Now you can see that those letters are cutting uh, right along that fourth axis, you know. Um, from here, we can post up our code. You know, you're going to see, um, we'll see probably inverse time. I mean, depending on the post that you're using, you may run G93, G94 or not. Um, but uh, you can see that we're getting our rotary movement and we're cutting our letters. So just a real quick example of how to uh, use your plasma cutter to put some, some letters uh, along a pipe using your fourth axis. Okay, guys, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted on. Uh, if you like the video, let's get a thumbs up. If you have some comments, throw some comments in there. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys.